guys. Uh, I'm going to make a video on some 16 volt lithium battery with an alternator for street cars. This, this topic seems to come up quite a bit about uh, using lithium batteries in street cars or street strip cars. Um, and a lot of people always ask, you know, what, what lithium batteries do you use and, and whatnot. I've used a couple different ones over the years and I've recently stumbled upon this um, Volt Freaks battery. So I, I, the reason I bought this thing for, well, there's a couple reasons. One, it's compact, but two, there's a really cool feature with this that no other battery on the market I believe has. And to me, it's actually really important. I saw a, um, a, an article a little while ago where a guy's lithium battery exploded in his car uh, while it was in the trailer driving down the road. It caught the car on fire, caught the trailer on fire. And um, that was something that, you know, I, I personally don't want to see anybody deal with, and I certainly don't want to deal with it myself. So the real cool feature about this is that you can shut this battery off, um, which it's so simple. Uh, it's such a simple idea, but it, it's, it's so important. So bear with me as I only really have one arm to use, and I got this camera set up on a tripod, but hopefully you can see that the battery's dead right now. It's 0, 0.00 volts, and um, I'm going to press button, and there we go, 16.7 volts. So um, there is a button, as you can see, behind this probe. It's lit up green right now. That when you press and hold it for a couple seconds, shuts it off, kills the battery, zero volts. So it is internally dead right now. So this is pretty big. This is pretty uh, important to me, at least. Um, some of y'all might not think so, but uh, for the, I think the, the whole package with the charger um, is like $9.99 or $1,099, something like that. And it's a, uh, the, the, the battery charger actually works great. It charges my personal car up. I mean, my personal car is an alternator, so I don't typically use it much, but if I'm tinkering around in the garage and I'm making these little videos or whatever, and I'm testing electronics, uh, I can charge the battery back up and right around like five to seven minutes to full charge. So uh, they, I'll put a link to the alternator that I use typically with a, a, a lithium battery. But the other cool thing about this is that you can set this, uh, let me take this camera off the tripod and I'll show you. There we go. You can set this battery the alternator anywhere between 16.75 and 17.5 volts and it will keep this battery charged so um, I had the car out not too long ago and uh, we ran a couple of rounds you know with an alternator on it voltage stayed rock solid rated right like 17.25 where I had the alternator set and um, cooling the car down in between rounds the fan and the water pump it it's still you know once you fire the car back up it would sag back down to about 16.0 and then you fire the car back up get the alternator moving and it was right back to 17.25 so this little combo has been great uh, the other really cool thing about this is it it'll internally shut down if it goes too low so i did it intentionally and it shuts down right at like 13 point 13 point one volts i think it is so if you try to drain this battery down too far it shuts off so it doesn't let you kill it um, the, the previous battery I've used in the past I won't say the company name but um, it will drain the battery down to the point where it kills a cell and then you have to send the battery back to the company and have them fix it and that's really com that's really really common with all the battery lithium battery manufacturers unlike this one so bang for the buck uh, with the charger I, I really can't you know complain uh, this is probably the best in my opinion uh, lithium battery combo out there so I work on another car that's got a uh, 864 inch um, uh, motor from par I believe uh, and lots of compression bunch of nitrous it's got one of these batteries in it turns it over no problem you know it runs three kits no problem uh, we charge, you know, he charges the car back up in between rounds. It takes him about 10, 15 minutes to charge it back up. So, and that's a huge engine with 
lots of electrical draw. So, and then the alternator I use, I'll put a link uh, to it, but it's a power master. It's nothing, nothing fancy. You can kind of see the label down there, but it's called XS Volt. And on the back side, nah, you won't be able to see it, but on the back side, there's a little adjustment screw and you set voltage. You take the, you know, you take the wire off of the uh, battery from the alternator and you hook a meter to it and you just turn the dial as it's running until you get somewhere between 16.75 and 17.5 volts. But hopefully this, uh, this answers some questions. Um, I think this is the only, what well, do they even say it right here? Racing electronic power management system and contains a built-in lithium battery, a lithium ion battery. So, I mean, it literally, it has fault detection. It has the whole nine yards and um, <clears throat> they also sell a, uh, a little remote button that you can plug in here. So this little button can be mounted like up on the dash and it replaces having to go to this. So uh, I don't have a little button because I can reach this pretty easy in the car, but you can add that little button. I think it's like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But um, this is a, uh, I've, I'll, I'll put a link to where where to buy these from and a, uh, a link of where to get the, uh, the alternator from. So hopefully this helps some of y'all out. See ya.